Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're trying to subscribe, thank you so much for coming back. As y'all can tell from the title, today we are doing a lot of prep and maintenance for a trip. I'm not going to tell y'all exactly where I'm going yet. I still want to keep that a little like under wraps for now. There's not really a reason. I just like building suspense. I am really, really excited for this trip. I've known about this trip for a few months now. I just started preparing for it a week ago because, you know, like school and exams and stuff. But um, yes, today we're getting a lot of things done today, especially like I'm getting my eyebrows done. I'm getting my nails done. Really excited for that. Y'all know I don't get my nails done too often. Unless I have somewhere that like I know I don't need to like write or like do anything like too much with my hands because y'all know that I can't function with nails. It is a skill that we are working on building. Current time is it's around 9 a.m. in the morning. I have a 9.30 pedicure appointment and then my manicure appointment is later today at 12 and I'll get my eyebrows done after that. Um, we may stop at the store today and get a few of the more last minute things that um, I have on my checklist that I haven't gotten yet. I'm not sure if that's going to happen today or tomorrow, but we'll see what time allows once I'm done with all the stuff that I have appointments for. Yeah, without further ado, let's get in the car and let's go start getting free. <laughs> So guys, my toes are finished. You guys know me, I always get a really simple French no matter what nail thing that I'm doing. I don't know what's my obsession with French. One of these days, I'm gonna switch it up. But not today. <laughs> but not today. Um, currently, it is just almost 10.30. So this finished up a lot faster than I thought. I mean, like, I thought it was gonna take an hour, but like, regardless, I just wanted to get here like as soon as the place opened just to make sure that I'll be like the first person they would get everything done really quickly. I have some time on my hands, so let's go pick up um, some of those last minute things before our 12 o'clock manicure appointment. So we're done. <laughs> I 
I never get my nails done for real. So, you know, like this, I get really excited whenever I do because that's how you know it's a very special occasion. This is a very special occasion. Hints of where we're going have been being dropped this entire video. Like I said, leave your guesses in the comments and we'll see who's correct in the end. Yeah, but these are the nails, okay? We know, like literally this morning, like y'all know how much your girl loves a good French tip. Like maybe I'll like, like do it slightly different like last year for my birthday like it was like a pinkish french tip with like like little swirls like it was a little different but it wasn't nothing crazy out of the ordinary that was like you couldn't tell that it was french inspired and that's just me <laughs> one of these days i'll switch it up but but not today <laughs> so really the last thing on my list that i want to do today is to get my eyebrows done so we're gonna head over to our eyebrow place and get them done so y'all see me get my eyebrows done like tons of times before and I don't have my sister with me to record it. So this is the before. And I'll come back once we're done and show you guys the after. Y'all so we're back home and this is my eyebrows, okay? All nicely shaped up and ready to go. But now basically we're home. I have a couple packages to open and I'll do the last of my packing today. I wanna be finished packing today so that tomorrow we're just really just doing our hair and that's it. My last thing is my hair, it's kind of it's kind of doing its own thing right now and I'm just letting it yeah it's just now setting in that when I get to my trip destination I'm not gonna have access to Ghanaian food y'all know how picky I am and that I'm always making my own food for that reason because for some reason I only eat Ghanaian food so I'm gonna eat as much as I can now because you know I'm probably not gonna get that where I'm going I will look into it though because there's always like African like places around i don't know if i can specifically get ghanaian but i will scope the market when i get there and see if there's a possibility of me getting ghanaian food because that would be great that would be excellent but i might just have to live on like fries <laughs> might just have to live on like fries and pizza like i'm trying to expand my palate guys um it's just very difficult like i've never went somewhere i didn't have access to things that i like but i think this specific place like i'm not I'm genuinely not sure where the food spots are gonna be, like if there's any like cultural places, like I'm genuinely unsure. So hopefully we figure that out. But for right now, I'm gonna go stuff my face with the food while I can. <laughs> so I will see you guys later after eating and we'll finish packing and everything. And um, I'll probably do like a mini haul of the things that I have that I just bought today. Also, we just finished eating everything. It was a great meal. I'm gonna miss it so much when I go on my trip for real. Like, I really hasn't sunk in that like I'm probably going to starve to death in this country. <laughs> but it's okay, it's the experience and perhaps I'll find something I'm able to eat. An Amazon package came in while we were out today, so we're gonna open that first. The first in here is just like like the little bands that she used to lay her wigs. Like I've been running out, so I got some more of that, and that will be helpful on our trip because we are laying a wig for this trip. Okay. Next are some beauty blenders. So you guys know I'm trying to figure out makeup. <laughs> um, so I'm constantly like trying new products. I've heard really really good things. This set I haven't heard much about, but I heard good things about this particular beauty blender. This um. Paw Paw Beauty Blender and that like there's like a pack on Amazon that comes in like six or whatever and it's like really really good but they all came in this um teardrop thing instead of like the variety of like shapes that beauty blenders come in now do I know how to use all these shapes no but I figured that buying a variety would be better so I bought this pack instead of like the six pack of just like that one type so I have like two of these types and I have some with like the different kinds of edges and sides so yeah this bronzer I've been looking for a bronzer forever I could not get it in a local store but I did find it online so I ordered it and this is the NYX buttermilk bronzer in butter days I love all their names for stuff especially in this collection is butter than you butter days bet off like you know it's, it's really cute I, I love the marketing for this whoever chose these names a one so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really like nice and red. I heard that this specific color is like more of like a bronzer blush. And I love a good pink blush, but I like a good like little like sunburnt looking like beach day blush sometimes as well. So I feel like this will do that really well. Yeah, so I have um Elf's like putty blush in um like like this luminous i forget what color this is called but i saw this one day and it looked so pretty to me because like literally just look at it 
it's such like a nice like little like red cheek kind of thing and i do prefer the pinkish cheeks on most days but some days i'm feeling like i want to be a little red so i feel like these are gonna be really good for me it might be a slightly too red so i think i'm gonna order it in the next darkest shade after this too um butter than you i think is like next shade this is like seven so i think that's eight or i'll order the one before that i have to go get color tested guys i don't know why i'm putting it off and just figuring it out on my own but i think i probably will try to get a different shade of this because some days like you just want a bronze and some days you will want like a bronze blush that does two in one so i'll see about that next is a bunch of lip stuff okay y'all know how much i love my lip liner and that was like the first like form of makeup that i like ever attempted doing so we have new nyx butter glosses that I got my my go-to is usually line my lip with like brown lip liner and then do lava cake either fortune cookie and lava cake or eclair and lava cake but I want to try like other like lighter shades of brown I recently got um caramels and this is like an alternative to lava cake because lava cake is very like dark and we love that some days but then some days I want to go a little bit brighter so then caramel and lava cake next to each other and then, um, like I said today, I bought two new ones. So this is all of them together. This, oops, <laughs> this is all of them together. So these are like the different shades of brown that I would choose from daily, I think, and like what shade I'm feeling. And then this one is meant to replace Eclair. Because the shade Eclair is very like pigmented and pink. And we love that some days, but some days like I want like a more toned down version. So these are all I have for like all my little like lip liner combos. And we'll see what we create when we get there. I'm learning more about layering when it comes to these things as well so I did get like this is like my very first like matte lipstick it's the NYX matte lipstick in free spirit I saw someone in a makeup tutorial use this during their lip liner process and I was like it seems like a nice like layering thing because it's like all those like lip combos that you see that look so good it's like a bunch of like it's the lip liner and then the this and then like some kind of like other thing and then like three different colors together to create like a whole concoction so I want to get into that and start learning it so I feel like this is a very nice color it's like like a good shade of brown so i can't wait to try that out still on lips we have elf's glow reviver lip oil saw another makeup artist use this and it looks great so yeah i got me one of these and then here we have some micellar cleansing water i ran out of the one that i had so it's restocked i also went to primark yesterday with my sister and we got a few things so i'll show you guys those too so this is a powder puff set and i love these colors like they're so like not power puff girls because we would need one of them to be blue but like i don't know like they're they're so bright and like nice and wonderful <laughs> and my last but not least thing that i got was these slippers because we need shower shoes we're going to a random hotel yeah, and that's pretty much it for all the little things that I got recently. I'm gonna go try to fit all this in my suitcase. My suitcase isn't like overloading, but it's like getting there. <laughs> the last thing left to do, as you guys can see, is my hair. So tomorrow I'll connect back with you guys after I finish washing my hair. And then we're gonna head to Morel's. Morel's my great friend that does my hair. <laughs> and she's gonna just cornrow it down for us. And we're gonna just like customize the wig and everything and prep that for actually putting it on um, the day that we leave, which is Sunday. I know if I had Kung Fu, but I go fight for you. I got my eyes on you, you got vibes on you. I know if you die for you, ladies, but I live my life for you. Hey guys, good morning. Um, sorry about not really talking much over um, yesterday or the last few hours. There's just been a lot 
a lot going on and I just want to make sure that you know like the most important things are done and ready for this trip so as y'all can see the wig is laying and let's talk about this color real quick I'm literally so excited for this like you guys see like the highlights and everything in this and I really can't wait to see the final product of what it um, comes out as y'all know that I'm not like a huge middle part girly but for the sake of this trip and everything I'm gonna do a middle part and when we go there I'm like side parted try and updo or two you know like we have time um, while we're here so I don't know what I'll eventually come up with with this wig but yeah I'm very excited for this I do brown pretty often but I've never done like this specific like type of wig before so I'm quite excited <laughs> yesterday as you guys saw Morel came over and um, came to do my cornrows we love and appreciate our friends that know how to braid because it's like at the end of the day like I can do my cornrows but it's like I needed her to do my cornrows so it gave me like a facelift you know what I mean and she tied those things tight my head's currently pulsing under here, but that is okay because it's necessary for the sled. Yeah, so all the important things that I talked about before, I weighed my suitcases and they're perfectly 50. Or I weighed my one suitcase because I've only taken like one 50 pound suitcase bag. So it is 50 and then I have my hand luggage, my carry-on and everything. So um, pretty much all of that is set. Really, I'm just working on my hair. Currently, I do not have my phone on me, but it is around 11 a.m. So we're gonna leave our house around 2, 2.30, maybe three, to head for the airport, because our flight is later this evening. And that's pretty much gonna be in the vlog when I get to that point, so yeah. When you watch the big greats in terms of like wiggling and everything, they say to keep the band on for at least an hour. So that is exactly what we're gonna do, because we are going to slay this, period. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So we're back and it's not only been one, it's been two hours. So this should be super, super laid. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Seems a little foundation around the edges, but the middle looking good. My final finishing touch to melt the lace that I do like to go in with, um, I have the, I believe it's called the Fantasia, um, spritz and that melts the lace, but this also is like another kind of it that also melts the lace really well. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of it. Like the lace is pretty melted, in my opinion. It is lace, you are going to see it a little bit after all. Um, I'm not no, you know, I'm not an expert. It's not no arrogant tape, but it's, it's gonna have to do today, baby. <laughs> Nah, but y'all help me give my thanks to Morel for real because along with cornering my hair, she also plucked the lace and it looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, so this is the finished look. I love it. Oh, I love this color. Like I said, I've done brown before, but this is a little different. Like the highlights are a little different and I'm absolutely loving it. Y'all know the edges are a very 50-50 thing for me. So right now I'm not feeling them, but maybe later in the shirt I'll be feeling them. So. so if I do, I'll add them later. If not, we're just gonna make this an edgeless look because I, I love this. I'm gonna go and probably eat my last Ghanaian meal. If I can find a Ghanaian place here, that would actually go crazy. I have to, I, I'm gonna start looking on the plane, but yeah, I'm gonna go eat my last Ghanaian meal and then we're gonna be heading to the airport. I just, I can't stop touching the hair like y'all, <laughs> y'all see me? 
<laughs> so yeah, while I was eating, my father was packing all my suitcases into um, the car. He's going to be driving me to the airport. We thank God for African dads. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is pretty much the end of this video. I will see you guys in my next video where I'm actually going to be on the trip. Last chance, tell me where you think that I'm going in the comment section below, you know. As I always say, I hope everyone has a great day and I will be seeing you guys in my next video when I'm in this foreign country. <laughs>